Hello. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the WPMU Dev Control Dashboard. Now this plugin is interesting because in a way it doesn't do anything, it doesn't add any features to your site. But what it does do is it gives you access to the entire library of WPMU Dev plugins, themes, support, and it all comes in one updating, installing, controlling piece of software. So what you find is that when you've installed the dashboard, you end up with an extra icon and an extra dashboard and that dashboard will give you a summary of what's going on with your site and it also allows you to see what you've done recently and the points you could have earned uh, because there's a point scoring system which works really nicely in WPMU Dev every time you help out and contribute you gain points and they can be converted into discounts and um, prizes and t-shirts etc So the next thing that the system allows you to do is to go to the plugins list, but this is a plugins list for the WPMU Dev plugins and allows you to install them directly from the main site. So this is the plugins that are available from WPMU Dev. There are a lot of them, a very comprehensive list of plugins, and you can download and activate all of them reason these are all saying activates because I've already downloaded all of these plugins already. So it works very similar to normal plugins that you get from the repository of WordPress but this is just to show their plugins and it's very nicely set out. You can also search for a particular plugin as well so if I wanted to find out about something called Snapshot, there we are, here it is. In the same way, the themes list um, allows you to see the themes available from WPMU Dev as well. And again, to activate, uh, install and activate those themes. Also gives you a summary page from the support desk, which shows you the items that you have uh, for your support and allows access to support. If I click on view all, it'll take me to their website and support pages. And the last thing it does is it also allows you to manage your license and to see the current situation. And also you can declare which people have access to this set of pages. Normal admins do not necessarily have to be given access to these pages. Um, that's up to you. And you can also merge your global API key and your dev key, which is the license key that runs on all the sites. Because once you have a, a license for WPMU Dev, you can run it on multiple sites. The other place it allows you to connect to is the hub. Now the hub is a similar version of this, except it's running on the WPMU Dev website. So we're actually now on the website. You can see the websites that I have already got my dashboard installed. Uh, you can see the major functions which they like to draw your attention to. I can add websites to that list and I can manage them from here as well. Although these two sites here don't manage very well because they're actually in our own private network. Although we can get reports up to the WPMU Dev website of their existence, um, I can't actually run things in the other direction because they can't get through the firewall. But that's just uh, a point of mine. Now, this gives you a list of all your websites, as I said, allows you to get into the website. But there is also a second version of this, and that's if it's running on a multi-user site because one of the most powerful features of WMU Dev plugins is they're all multi-site compatible. And here we are, here's a 
another test site set up but this is running multi-site so we have multiple sites as you can see we have um, I think only two sites defined at the moment yeah so we've got a couple of sites defined we can go into those but we've also got the WMDF dashboard and items again as it was before whereas of course now plugins here are referring to the possible network activation across the whole sites or I can go to the normal plugins section if I wanted to and I get to see all the plugins that have been installed because WMU dev plugins still look like everybody else's so they all are there and if I was in a particular site I would be able to install or activate a plugin just for that particular site so that all works very well so that's really all there is to this particular plugin as I said it doesn't do a lot but it does make the administration and the control of all your sites considering they have their own repository for files it does make it a lot easier all the updates and everything all managed from the WPMU dev dashboard a must have and of course once you've got your license for using the software then this is included free of charge thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe and look at the other uh, reviews we have for all the other WPMU dev plugins for more info visit wpbusinessclub.com